Uh, my name is uh, Singi Ju. And I'm a professor of Seoul National University. And uh, today I'm going to introduce about the uh, defect chemistry class, chemistry, which is going to be offered in the spring 2016. Okay, basically it is for the graduate course, but uh, graduate uh, course, but uh, I think it covers the basic understanding of electrochemistry. So uh, I think undergrad, even undergrad uh, students may take this class. Uh, this. Uh, we are going to discuss about the uh, defect equilibrium in a metallic system and then we are going to discuss about the defect equilibrium in a non-metallic system. This non-metallic system is more important than the uh, defect equilibrium in the metallic system because the electrochemical potential, okay, electrochemical potential which consists of the electrostatic potential and the chemical potential, and in the metallic system it doesn't have any electrostatic potential. It, because it has uh, so many free electrons. So in the metallic system, the chemical potential is the only thing that we have to consider. But uh, in a non-metallic system, the, these two electrochemical potentials should be involved in the system. So uh, we are going to focus on the defect equilibrium in a non-metallic system. And um, we are going to move to the defect equilibrium, defect equilibrium in binary system. We can extend this idea to the ternary system, quaternary system. But in the class, we just uh, discuss about the binary systems only, okay? And then we are going to discuss about the electrochemical cell. After here, we just uh, cover the uh, basic theories, basic understanding, and from here we really focus ourselves on the electrochemical system, okay? And then uh, application of uh, transducer, transducer system, that is uh, batteries, actually. Nothing but uh, batteries. And then uh, we're going to discuss about the electrochemical, electrochemical determination of thermodynamic properties, thermodynamic properties. And then we're going to discuss about the electrochemical determination of kinetic properties properties and this electrochemical technique to determine the thermodynamic and the kinetic properties this electrochemical technique is very very powerful in uh, terms of the preci uh, uh, precision and the simplicity of the processes so this is very important to uh, understand the electrochemical technique and then 
we uh, move to the kinetic problems. Uh, we start out with the defect transport. Okay. And uh, we're going to uh, discuss about the uh, very abnormally rapid ionic uh, transport system, transport in solids. And this is the uh, final chapter. And this will lead us to the idea how we can get the old solid state batteries, solid state uh, batteries. And this is the future uh, devices that we have to, we have to develop. Okay, uh, let me just uh, finish up uh, this introduction uh, lecture by saying that when you talk about the defects, okay, we think a defect is a something negative or at least less than a desired. But interestingly enough, these defects are closely related to the most interesting properties of a solid. So, which means the properties of a solid, mechanical uh, properties and uh, electrical properties, properties, whatever, is very much related to the defects, not the perfectness of the solid. So that's why this uh, lecture titled as defect chemistry. Okay, that much defect is imp important, and understanding of the defect is the main idea. Uh, that you are going to discuss in this lecture. Okay, that is about the uh, <coughs> introduction of the class. And we uh, don't have a regular textbook in the class, but uh, I'm going to prepare pretty much of the handouts and the homeworks to, uh, to assist the understanding of the class. Okay, thank you.